Hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to thread a Janome sewing machine. Now, this is an updated version of one of my very first videos that I created. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can make an even better video for you uh, with better lighting and sound and whatnot. For this video, I'm using a Sterling by Janome. But this machine is exactly the same as a Janome JR 1012 or if you're in the US a Janome New Home Pink Sorbet or one of the different colours in that range. Now this machine has a front loading bobbin uh, but I'll also make sure I show you how to bring up the bottom bobbin thread using a top loading bobbin machine and also an easy set bobbin machine as well. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so to get started, we're going to load some thread onto the bobbin if you don't already have that. So to do that, on this particular machine, we'll need to lift up the spool pin and we're going to place the thread onto that spool pin. And then over here, there will be the thread guide for winding thread onto the bobbin. So you'll need to make sure the thread is going in between those two uh, little discs there and that will provide tension when you're winding the bobbin so make sure it's in between okay and then on your bobbin you'll notice that there will be some little holes what I like to do is pass the tail of the thread through one of those holes and just grab it with my other fingers, my other hand, sorry. Okay, and then I'm going to push that down onto the bobbin spindle. Okay, and I'm just going to pull that so it's a little bit tighter. Now, to start winding, you will need to push the bobbin spindle over to the right. Now, on some machines, you can disengage the needle by pulling the hand wheel or fly wheel out and that'll just stop the needle from going up and down okay most other machines you don't have to do that all right and with the foot pedal which I'm going to place on the floor uh, I'm going to press the foot pedal and start winding okay and as I do that I'm just holding that thread tail up Sorry, before I go any further, now that I've wound and secured that thread on a little bit, I'm just going to snip that tail off and just keep going until you have the desired amount of thread on your bobbin. All right, I'm just going to stop it there. So push this bobbin spindle back over to the left and then you can remove the bobbin and just snip it and then if you've got a machine like this and you've disengaged the needle don't forget to push the hand wheel back in you'll soon work out you haven't put it back in if you go to sew and the needle doesn't go up and down okay let's move on to the next step okay so I've just set the bobbin thread aside for now and we're going to thread the top part of the machine now I'm going to change the red color just so it's um, nice and contrasting for you, but you'll most probably be using the same color as your bobbin thread. So your machine will probably have thread guide markers on the top. So the first thread guide is over here. So we're going to make sure that the thread is going around that first thread guide and it will need to run down here. Now these are the tension discs here. So you need to make sure that your presser foot is in the up position when you're threading your machine. So the tension discs are open. And, and number four is um, the central thread tension. So just make sure your machine is on number four. Okay. Once you've come down through the tension discs, the next thread guide will be down the bottom here, which is number two. So you need to make sure that your thread goes under and then back up the other side here. Once you've come back up, you need to make sure your take up lever is visible at the top here. So you can do that by turning your hand wheel or the flywheel towards you. And you can see that take up lever coming up. Now I'm going to get it into the highest position. 
and the thread will need to go behind and be sitting in the front little hole of that take up lever. Now that the thread sitting securely in the front of that take up lever we're going to come back down this path here and then at the top of your needle bar you'll have one more thread guide that you will need to tuck the thread into. Now that I've come in a little bit closer you can see the thread guide at the top of the needle bar there that we've put the thread into and I've just taken it out, there we go. Now we need to thread the eye of the needle. So I'm just going to snip the end of the thread so I have a nice clean thread tail. And we thread the needle from the front through to the back. Now my other Janome has a inbuilt needle threader so I might get that one out as well so I can show you how to use a needle threader. So I've just switched over to my machine with the automatic needle threader and you'll see up here there's a little lever so on most machines you will push that lever down some you will need to hold down this particular one stays down by itself so you'll have a little hook right here and then there'll be another metal hook like a little wire that as you bring it down it will put that little hook through the eye of the needle at the bottom there so what you'll need to do is as you're either holding the needle threader down hook the thread around this hook on the left here and then there'll be another plastic hook here that you put the thread under and as you do this that'll be putting the thread under the little wire hook that's going through the needle as well and then you carefully pull that automatic needle thread up and as you do that the thread comes through the eye of the needle and we'll leave a little loop at the back which you can just pull through like that. So now it's time to load in the bobbin thread. I'll use this machine to show you how to load thread with a top loading bobbin and also um, on a different machine with an easy set bobbin and then I'll also show you how to load the bobbin into a machine with a front loading bobbin. Be sure to use the chapters so you can go to the one that's the most relevant for you. Okay, so for this top loading bobbin machine, I need to remove the bobbin cover here. Okay, and for a top loading bobbin machine, you need to have your thread running in an anti-clockwise direction. So I'm going to be making a P with the bobbin. So here's the bobbin, here's the thread coming off on the left hand, hand side here. Okay, so to load in the bobbin simply just drop it in there and then there'll be a thread guide going at, uh, across at the front here so going to put the thread into this groove and then put it over to the left there and that's actually your little um, tensioner at the front there so with the bobbin thread just sitting over to the left there I'm going to grab the top thread and just hold it out to the left and then with my hand wheel I'm going to turn it towards myself to bring the needle down and I'll come back up and you'll slowly see the red top thread going over that bobbin there grabbing that bobbin thread and once the needle is all the way up if I just pull that thread that will bring the bobbin thread up with it so then I can just pull it out, put the threads towards the back there and replace the bobbin cover and this one would be all set, ready to sew. Now this particular machine here has the easy set bobbin so all you need to do is remove the bobbin cover there and with your thread going in the same direction, so running anti-clockwise, you drop your bobbin in 
and you would put your thread under this little guide here and then run it through the track the little guide there and it should snip your thread and then you'd simply be able to replace the bobbin cover make sure your top thread is at the back of the machine and this one would be all ready to sew and lastly I'll show you how to load the bobbin into a front loading bobbin machine so with this particular machine I need to move the free arm part of the machine and and if I pull this down you will see the hook race that the bobbin will be going into I have my bobbin cover and my bobbin so with the front loading machine you need to make sure your thread is running in a clockwise direction so to help you remember that when you hold it up you should be making the letter Q okay so I'm going to grab my bobbin and this little finger bit um, needs to be facing upwards I'm going to place the bobbin into the bobbin cover like that and then you'll see on the side here there is a little slit I'm going to make sure the thread goes through that slit and then it needs to be running under this little tension finger here and then the thread needs to be coming into this groove and sitting in there there we go so hopefully you can see that so the thread is sitting in that groove there. When I pull the thread the bobbin should be turning in a clockwise direction and that's when you'll know it's in correctly. Okay so I'm going to turn the bobbin around now. On the back here is a little holder. So holding that bobbin um, and the hook race here you'll see there's a little groove at the top here. The finger on the bobbin cover needs to be sitting into that little groove. So I'm going to put the bobbin into the hook race and making sure that that finger is sitting in that groove and if I give it a little bit of a wobble it shouldn't be turning at all. Okay so now we need to get this bobbin thread up so to do that I'm going to hold the top thread out to the left and then turn the hand wheel towards myself to bring that bobbin thread down and over the bobbin there you go and once the needle's back up I can just pull that top thread and bring the bobbin thread up with it so I can just pull that out put those threads under the presser foot and towards the back of the machine close the cover up return the free arm part if you need to and this machine will be all ready to sew if you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to check out all my other how-to videos. Thanks. See you next time.